Hi, today we are going to do a paper sculpture based on the artist Jean Dubuffet. Uh, we will be doing the paper sculpture out of index cards. You will have six or seven index cards. The first three are going to create your base. So we're going to start by doing the first three. And you are only going to do, you're going to do just some organic shapes. You might need to come up with some, kind of before you start, a basic idea of what you want to do. Um, let's see. And then, once you're finished with your, your basic organic shapes, you want to outline them with a black marker or Sharpie. And you can make the black line pretty thick. After you're finished outlining your black lines, go in and do your red or blue or whatever color marker lines that you, however you would like to do it. You could add more shapes in the middle. In the overloop style of du buffet. And do your whatever kind of lines or solid shapes, solid colors you would like to do for your, your base. Keep the line, you could do the lines thin together or further apart. And then you're going to cut out your three shapes. So what you need to do now is you need to figure out how they will connect together to stand to create your base. You can also color the back sides if you have time. So, because they will be seen, and so if you want everything to be both sided, you need to do the back sides also. But if you don't have time, and I'll just save time by not doing it right now, um, then you don't have to. So we are going to hold these bases together by create by cutting a slit in both sides of the paper. So if this is going to be this, and this is going to fit together, I'm going to line it up. And you kind of have to guess, but so I'm going to cut my paper slit on this side. Make sure you don't cut it too far down or cut all the way through. And then this, you might kind of have to uh, measure it out. So now I'm going to kind of mark it with my finger. and cut on that side. So I have both of these slits cut, and then I'm gonna fit them together. Now, if I wanted to say, okay, so that's not, it's balancing fine, but maybe it would balance better if it was on this side. So let's see if I cut a slit in here, if that balances better. This part can be frustrating, but you just have to work it through. It's a little bit better, but it's the same. I'm gonna keep it on this one. And then you're gonna put them, try to balance them together, hold them all together by putting this one in. So I think maybe if I cut the slit on this side, and this side, it would work. 
Make sure you don't go through your paper all the way through. You're not cutting off the, the uh, bottom edge. So okay, that works. So now I'm going to use this slit that I origin that I experimented with. I might cut it a little bit deeper, and then cut on this side to slide these two together. There we go. It's a little lopsided, but that's okay. It doesn't have to stand exactly on the ground. So we have the base of our, of our paper sculpture. So now I'm gonna take the rest of the index cards and I'm gonna do these top level ones. And you can do, you know, tree shape or some smaller wavier ones. You know, you could come up with a, with a head or a face even. I'm gonna do these two first and then add on. See how they work out and then add on. And then sometimes he added shapes within shapes. You can leave them solid white, black and white, or add colors to them. Dubuffet sometimes did his sculptures in all black and white. So if you do not want to add colors at all. Now I'm gonna to try to work out how do I want these to fit together. Sometimes it's tricky to figure out how you're going to fit these together. So I'm going to do a slit on both sides again. And like I said, if you have time, you can color both sides. Or you can fit it all together and go back and color both color the other side. And you just kind of have to experiment just to make sure Get it to fit together properly or however you'd like it. I think I'm going to try to hold these two together with, with this piece. Also, um, you can use glue. If you have glue around and it makes it easier to put the pieces together because like say maybe I want to glue Maybe it would work better if I glued these two together. Then, then you can do that instead of doing the, uh, or in addition to doing the slits, because it might end up holding it together better. Let's see. Like I repeated, make sure you're not cutting your shape in half. You might have to redo it. Maybe it works better if I turn it that way. And then I'm gonna do one more right here. Kind of the same uh, abstract tree shape to cover this side. Always make sure you have something down below your, um, underneath your drawing in case it leaks through onto your desk. Struggle is real, don't get frustrated. And so here is where I think I would actually add some glue. Since this one's on the top and can be seen, I'm gonna make sure I color both sides. There is final sculpture, paper sculpture.